Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. You probably have canola oil in your kitchen pantry. But what the heck is canola oil? Have you ever seen a canola plant? Me neither. Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you the story of how canola oil came to be. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Canola oil is one of the most common vegetable oils there are. Yeah, there's other vegetable oils such as soybean, olive, and corn oil, but did you know that canola oil accounts for about one third of all the vegetable oils used in culinary uses? Now, I've never seen a canola plant, have you? That's because they don't exist. And there's a kind of a dirty little secret related to canola oil. It actually comes from rapeseed. You heard me right. And it's spelled exactly the same way. Rapeseed from the rape plant. Rape plants are grown in large fields and oil is extracted from the seeds through a pretty complicated process that brings it back to the table. And as you can see, this has had kind of a branding problem. You don't want to go around branding your oil as, well, using the word rapeseed oil. So where did this name come from? Well, a lot of the world's production for the rape plant is actually in Canada and is done by Canadian vegetable oil producers. So you can see the name canola is kind of a loose attribution to Canadian oil. By the way, rapeseed oil has been around for a long time, but it had some problems other than its unsavory name. It had some uh, characteristics that were undesirable, stickiness and aftertaste. And once they were able to breed those characteristics out of the seed to make a milder tasting uh, oil that would play well with a variety of preparations, they now need to deal with changing out the name. So in about 1978, they changed the name to canola oil. And in 1986 is when it became available on the grocery shelf. So it's pretty recent that this all happened. For you gardening types out there, the rape plant is actually a member of the brassica family. And those of you that have raised brassicas know that items like mustard greens, cabbage, and even Brussels sprouts all come from that same family. So here's yet another useful product that makes its way to the table. So there you have one of the most successful rebrandings and perception changers in all of history. This product is now used in kitchens across the world, either as an ingredient in a dish or for frying or for baking. And if you ever wondered why altitude is such a big deal when it comes to baking, check out this video where we tell you why it is and what to do about it. And then check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Thanks for joining me today.